today, and we'll get to him later, but Kawhi Leonard, the Clippers and Team USA, decide it's not in their best interest or Kawhi's to have him playing this summer. So he will not be on Team USA. They promptly named Derek White, the role player, very good role player, uh, all-league defender type player. Uh, they named him to the team. And Jalen Brown, the Celtics star, uh, their second best player, but was the MVP of the conference finals, MVP of the finals in their first championship in 16 years. And he releases an emoji. Now, Rob G, what, what type of emoji is this called? You know, I'm not up on something. I just call it the side eye. Okay, the side eye, which, which means uh, you're puzzled or even bothered by something. Is that correct? That is correct. Upset and then, and then he did something. another tweet a p- couple minutes after that directly at Nike. So you wouldn't see it unless you click on the replies. He added Nike saying, yo, this is what we're doing? Question mark. All right, um, Rob, Jalen Brown not on the team. His teammate, Derek White, on the team. Your thoughts? Uh, it is the ultimate disrespect, and they didn't slap him. They pimp slapped him. That's oh. what they did. It was a pimp slap. Oh. Stop it. I mean, wow. like, isn't he more like Kawhi? It, why, why, why wasn't he replacing Kawhi Leonard? Uh, and, and this is no disrespect to Derek White. Oh, they want him to do the di- dirty work and all this stuff. Well, he would have been on the team from Jump Street then because that's not what Kawhi would have been doing right, that's on the dream. You know what right. I mean, Chris? That That's, that's why I don't buy right. into that because Kawhi wasn't doing any dirty work, so you replace. It would be different if you had a uh, Derek White kind of dirty work like player on the Drew team. Holiday or something. Yeah, and then you were replacing that guy. I would buy that. It's a it's a it's a disrespect for a guy who just won the finals MVP and has played really it's an honor, I mean, for a lot of guys to represent your country. And I can understand why they wanted to give Kawhi a chance. Chris he had never done it and he you know, before his injury right. was playing well. So I do right. get all why he was picked. Cause it's still an honor even if you bow out. I was picked for the team. You know what right. I mean? Right. It's right. an honor. Right. But this is total disrespect. Uh to Brown. I, I just don't understand the thinking here uh, uh, by the Team USA. You know, look, first of all, let me say this. Derek White, I, I do understand why they picked Derek White, Rob. Um, I think they're thinking, and you you make a great point, and I think it's right, that Kawhi wasn't a role player. Kawhi wasn't a dirty work guy. So don't, you know, you didn't have to replace him with with a role player. But I do think that their thought process was we only Drew's really our only role player, Drew Holiday. Let's get a guy that, you know, is quote unquote glue guy. We know he's a great defender. He wants to defend. He can hit the three point shot. Now he was a better three point shooter this year than Jalen, but their career averages are the same from three point land. Um, but I, I think that was their thinking, right? Let's get a guy that doesn't need the ball, that's not used to being a star, and so he won't be any problem. But I just think I, I agree with you in that just out of respect for Jalen Brown, who, again, was the finals MVP, now you've got three Celtics on there, Rob? And none of them is named Jalen Brown. That that makes that that's what I'm talking right? about, Chris. Like like something's wrong here. Like like that doesn't make any sense. It would be one thing if you got uh, how in the world has it, three Celtics and he's not one of them. Right. I, I mean how? it doesn't. He, and the thing is, he does. It's not. First of all, he's a very good defender. He might not be Derek White, but I think he could be Derek White when he doesn't have to carry the load of scoring 25 points a night. So I think there's that. Remember Kobe? And Kobe obviously was a great defender, period. But when he got with the Redeem team, Rob, he was like, I'm just going to D. LeBron and D-Wade, and those guys can score. And then when he needed to in the gold medal game against Spain, he did. But for the most part, he was like, I'm just going to lock people up. Jalen could do that. Jalen's a good three-point shooter. Jalen obviously is a better all-around player than Derek White. So I... I'm I'm a I'm a bit surpr- shocked. I mean, again, I get why Derek White was added. We talked about a role players and 
you need some guys that that aren't stars. But Jalen can do those things, and I think he would willingly do those things. So I, I'm surprised, Rob. Now, and I don't think this was a factor, but Jalen is a very outspoken guy. Jalen is a very thoughtful, deep thinker. Yeah. I, is it I possible just... that they wonder on the on this world stage, would he bring up something political or anything like that? I, I'm just, I don't think that's the case, but knowing that he is a type of guy that, you know, is very conscientious and all well, that, I don't know, maybe. Here it is. Uh, you know, the speculation that this was Nike's decision. And McCall, Chris, in 2020, as you're talking about, Brown, right, uh, tweeted out, uh, since when did Nike care about ethics in a response to their statement to Kyrie Irving? So there you go. There I, didn't even, I didn't even see that. There it is. And, and so, so there's your answer that Nike has a, 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 a handle on this team, whether people want to believe it or not. And, uh, and that is probably why. Jalen Brown. That's the only reason that you could come up with, Chris, other than Nike said, uh, we remember what you said uh, a couple years ago. And now when we have the ball is in our court, we, we'll take care of you. That's what Yeah, I mean. that's uh that that's bizarre. Uh, that like you said, that makes sense. I, I didn't makes sense I didn't now. know that was it when yep. I said that, but yeah. Um that's unfortunate. Because you know, hey, it's a, don't it's poke a great the bear, young Chris. man. Don't poke the bear. I'm just telling you. And, nah, and, it's, and it's, politics is always somewhere lurking, right? Everywhere. every yeah. but, but everywhere, Chris, even in the church, you know that. Everywhere where there are people involved yep. in politics. Yep. Nah, it's, it's unfortunate. It just, uh, it just feels, situation. Chris, like that makes sense. Because the other way doesn't make sense. If it's just off a of basketball plate replacing Kawhi, right. he won the finals MVP, like all those other things that you would think would be an automatic. Right. Uh, and, and and Derek White, no disrespect, and he's a really good player, Chris, and a great role player in what he does. But come on, this is like supposedly the best team in the world. Right. And you have a, this, you this supposed is, to, but this you were replacing team, Kawhi Leonard with a role player? Right. Oh, that doesn't make sense. This team, Rob... I mean, when we think of the special Olympic teams, right, since the pros started playing, you got the Dream Team in 92, you've got the Redeem Team in 2008, and I actually think this is a sort of a Redeem Team. Even though we've won, right, we've won, like, the last four Olympics. Uh, we won seven of the last eight since we've been sending our pros. But, Rob, we all saw last summer our FIBA team with a lot of young stars didn't even didn't even medal in the FIBA World Cup. And right. so this year it was like, yo, we sending the big boys. You know what I mean? Like this is kind of like a, a second redeemed team. And to not have Jalen on it, it, it I, I don't agree with it. It's crazy. Chris, we got a couple people want to chime in. Larry in Houston, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Larry? Hey, how you guys doing? I love this show. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. Thank you. Chris, welcome back. I'm sure you got another vacation next week or probably the week after. <laughs> Pretty but, soon. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, how'd you know, Larry? Uh, did you know? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm always waiting for the, the fill-in. <laughs> well, you know uh, who's always here, Larry, right? Okay. Like, Yeah, please. He uh, was just off all favorite. last week. <laughs> still my favorite, though. Um, who, who would go, who would you put in front of uh, Jalen Brunson? Uh, or, well, I'm sorry. He should have been in front of Derek White. That's 100% certain. Right. Who would who who would you put in front of him though, in front of Jalen Brown? Well, I I don't think it would have been as much of a snub if you had put Jalen Brunson on the team. Well, yeah, I think I think that Brunson should have been nobody. You know what I mean? Won. Like I don't even think I don't know that Jalen Brown would have reacted the way he did. I mean, I'm sure I he thinks either. he's better than Jalen Brunson, but not but, a role player, Chris, right? Jalen right. Brunson's a legitimate star, and you're like, okay, I, I get it, I, I, um, mate. You know, like Derek White, it's your not number one. He's a role player. Number two, he's your own teammate. Right. Yeah, I I think that that's the hardest part for Jalen Brown to to swallow is that is his own teammate. I don't. I can't think of anybody else though who would be there outside Jalen Brunson. Like maybe you put Zion for like that factor of like the dunks and that. But even he's what about Donovan there. Mitchell? What about Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, he's another one. I mean, there it, 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 yeah. it, it's so hard for Jalen because it's his teammate. He's ten times better than him. Right. Um, 
But I, I, did you say that Nike chose him? Well, I'm just well, saying they have the speculation, and that's yeah, what he thinks that they that he has that he has influence. All right, yeah. thanks for that. Uh, but I, I agree with him, Rob. Like, and look, you hope this doesn't cause a rift with the team, yeah. um, the Celtics. But I do think it being your own teammate, Rob, makes it even harder. And I'm not saying that's – I think that's human nature. No doubt. We've uh, all been on teams, and you still want to, you know, you know you're the better player. You're the star. You should get the love. Q in Arizona, let's squeeze you in. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Q? Hey, what's happening, fellas? Uh, what's love up, your man? Show. Thank, thank you, um, man. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm an old school uh, basketball fan because I think about the Bulls. Everybody on that team – were role players, like Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman ain't out there trying to score 10, 15 points. His main objective is to get the ball, protect the rim, play defense. So I understand the fact that Brown is better than him, but you got to have role players. That, but what, that what, play. what did they pick Q, though? But why did they pick Kawhi then? I mean, right. like – I, I get that what you're saying. If you told me that Derek White was on the team from Jump Street, or there was a player of that ilk, they and they replaced right. him, right? Yeah, but I was clu- I was clueless about that too. I'm like, why? Why? You got too many scores. You need somebody to to play defense. Like, but see, don't <laughs> you think Jalen Brown could do that? I mean, right. nobody cares about stats in the Olympics. It's just it's purely about uh, winning, right. I don't. They right, don't care right. if LeBron averages eight points and and seven, eight or si- eight assists during these these playoffs. Rob, no, this Olympics, nobody's gonna be like, man, LeBron only averaged eight. It's just about winning, and that's it's why winning I think and moving Brown, on, Chris. Right, right, would would go ahead and play that role if he had to. That's the thing. He's a star who actually could play that role. Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brunson, they they aren't like stars that could play that defensive role. He could. So, NBA champion, NBC Sports Boston analyst, Fox Sports NBA analyst, and an Emmy Award winner, our man, Eddie House. What up, E. House? What's happening, man? I, I love the intro, man. I'm, I'm, I'm I, ready to go hoop right now, man. I'm, I, I'm hey, man. I, introduce me, brother. I could have done much, that. How I much did that Emmy cost? those in-game Eddie? announcers. What's that? <laughs> I said, how much did that Emmy cost? That's all I want to know. How much did it cost? Ain't that something? A lot of hard work. Hey, a lot, a lot of hard work. How about that? Oh, <laughs> hey, um, speaking of hard work, I mean, you know the Celtics as well as anybody. And Jalen Brown, it appears, is clearly upset by and them picking so. Derek White. Yeah, Rob and I both think it's a snub. Um, I get Eddie the role player stuff that Derek White maybe they needed they wanted a role player, but Kawhi wasn't a role player. So right. and I think Jalen could have done those things in this in you know in this circumstance where it's like they don't need me to score twenty five. Let me go and d up or do whatever. So where are you at on it? Um, do you agree with us that it's a snub? Well, yeah. If I think it's a snub if he didn't get a call. I'm not sure because I, you know, I follow him on on social media, and I'm not sure. I don't, I don't talk to him on a regular basis or anything like that. So, I did see that he just posted that he was, you know, abroad, um, you know, with the with his faith and religion, and um, you know, he was over there. Um, I, I want to say it was in Mecca. Is it he in like. Mecca? Okay. Uh, yeah, it looked like he was in Mecca. So, uh, if that's the case. They called him, and he already had something previously planned, and he was already out there. But he he's posting. But he posted he, he, stuff yeah, like, he's posting like tweets. Yeah, I, I, like he's upset. Did he, did, he say, did he say anything? He just posted those glasses, right? The then he did the something else. What was it, Rob, uh, Rob G? Nike, this is how we doing it or something like right. that? Like he definitely didn't sound like, hey, if you're on vacation, you have other plans, why would you even comment? I'm, I'm, right. They called me. Oh, you I, might, I you, think, your comment would probably be congratulations to my right, teammate. Right, to your teammate. I, I think he congratulates everybody. that I think he congratulated D. White on the under. But, but besides that, if they did not reach out to him and they just said, hey, we're not going to even uh, run it by him, then, yeah, he should be upset at that. But if they ran it by him and he's like, you know what, I'm cool. I don't know the situation, so I can't really speculate. I'm not going to speculate. But what I do know 
is if they did not run it by him, that is a snub. That's not only a snub off of the USA team, that's the snub off the All-NBA team. And then that's also the other snub off of the uh, All-NBA defensive team. And so that's three times he would have got snubbed this year, and it would have to be the first time in the history of the game where somebody was Eastern Conference MVP, which they didn't have back in the day, but am Finals MVP, and you don't get an invite, you don't get a phone call to go to, that would be, to me, that that – why wouldn't who wouldn't be upset at that though? Right, I I agree. I, I, he should be upset. No, no, no doubt about it. Uh, it's it, it is very strange. Uh, LeBron James, but was voted as the best player on the team. Is is that accurate? No, we, it, well, we just going by what he has done and and what he has still proven. Is he the best what, player I, I on the team meant, at this point? But I think that vote, Rob. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was who's been the best player in the week of practice that they had or whatever? And they said it was LeBron. Okay, is that, well, is who, that, the, who, is that who, I mean, I want to know who's who's voting on that. Who who voted? It was that? the player. Was it the? It was. I think it was the players. Yeah, I think it was well, the players. Well, I would we, just. Surpri- we we got to believe that though. If, if the players are there and saying, "Man, he was the best player I've seen in this week," well, what he does, then I got to believe that. I don't think that they're just giving something. To LeBron, like, hey, LeBron James. Everybody handed a sheet of paper and everybody just checked LeBron James. I don't think that that would happen unless they really believed that. Is that scary, though, when you have other players like uh, Ed- <laughs> Edward said he's the number one he's the, he's the number one option and you got Tatum there. Shouldn't those guys be the best guys? Uh, younger guys, guys who are, you know, doing a lot as far as winning and all that kind of stuff, why isn't it one of the younger guys being uh, the leader of the pack or the best guy that they've seen out there so far instead of a 40-year-old? Because LeBron James is one of the best players to ever play this game. All the younger guys that you're talking about are still trying to solidify themselves. But it's not a lifetime achievement award. I I get that. We can't put their careers next to each other. I'm talking about going into the – the, the 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 team USA the first week He's the younger Eddie. guys aren't better He's than LeBron to get you James to make a headline come on Eddie <laughs> what are you doing I know. I, no listen I I, cause I gotta listen to the players if the players are saying that you gotta believe it of course every we just heard Anthony Edwards say you think he voted he must have voted for LeBron too or did he vote for himself five players of the fifteen voted for LeBron. So, so Eddie, right, here you are. You say okay. you got to listen so to the players, only, yeah, right? It wasn't, and then a bunch of guys got two votes. A- Eddie, let me push back on you, okay? You say you got to listen to the okay. players. A couple years ago when the NBA allowed players to vote for the All-Star game for the first time, 130 players did not vote for LeBron James at all. Should we listen to the players then, too? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we should have listened to the players then. They didn't. They, cause, they took uh, away I mean, they their votes. Was, yeah, just, you know what? <laughs> It, but but more players voted for LeBron than didn't vote for LeBron. No, but how do you – it's an exhibition. How did 130 players not vote for LeBron? Come on. I, I, have, I, know, I have no idea. Just like you don't understand why there are only five voted for him now. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Eddie. Do you, Cooper Flag, I watched the highlights. I don't know if you saw it, you know, when he played against yeah, Team it. USA. So, and I know you're into the AAU. Um, so yeah. you've probably seen him. You've seen a good amount of him, correct? Yes. Yes. So what do, you, uh, what do you think of him and what do you think? Like, he's projected to be the number one pick next year in the draft. What do you think of his prospects? Like, If, as- he, uh, if, if he stays healthy and, not, uh, and, and, you know, God forbid anything happens to him during next season, he will be the number number one pick. If, I mean, if you, you watch You think he's a game, future star? I think he has the ability to be a future star if he continues to ascend. If he continues to work on his game, because where he's at right now at 17, what he can do right now at that age with that and, and that size, um, I, I, even the clips you've seen, I don't know if you've seen the one clip uh, you know, where he caught the ball on Drew Holiday on the block and he faked yeah. baseline. He faked baseline over the right shoulder, looked back over the left shoulder. That's where Drew was at. Then he went right to the fadeaway. Like that, to me, that's – uh, game awareness that a lot of players at 17 wouldn't even recognize like oh oh I got him based I'm gonna give him a little bit to the left make him hop over there but then I'm gonna create more space for myself to go over the right shoulder fade away right so I see that I see like small little things and then also it's just the mentality one thing about Cooper Flag that I've seen 
throughout these years. And I'll tell you this, Brian Scalabrini is the first person to put me on him. He said, this kid Cooper Flag, he said, I work out with this kid Cooper Flag. This was a few years back. He's like, man, he, he he's one of them ones. I'm like, okay, I'll let, well, let me mm. see. I started watching, and I could see he was not afraid of no moments. He's not. Right. He, he wasn't scared of the moment. Okay. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't a guy that was. Uh, you know, it can get intimidated by whatever atmosphere or whatever gym he's in. He come into work. He gonna put in that work and actually let you know that he put in that work. And so I seen that. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. He he's a little different out here. You know, he talked that talk and he walk it and he back it up with his game. Yeah, I mean that. Like you said, I mean to. It's not even that he just got out there with other, with NBA players. He got out there with the best, pretty probably a team full of Hall of Famers, and no he doubt. you know was able to not be intimidated. So I, I'm with you on that. Um, last thing, Zach Eady, 14 points, 15 boards in his summer league debut. I get it, it's summer league, but now he's all of a sudden the the leader of the pack as far as odds for rookie of the year. Do you think in today's NBA that there's a significant place for him? I mean, I'm sure he'll have a relatively long career, but I mean like an impact player, maybe not a star, but can he be like an impact player in this league? Well, with his size, I I would have to say yes. You know, I I would say that he could be an impact player being a rim protector and being a rebounder. He can impact the game that way. Now, when you start talking about his offensive game and how does that develop, we'll see. And how does that evolve? We still got to see. We know we have not seen him stretch out and be a three-point knockdown shooter to stretch the floor like most of the fives are now. We haven't really seen him have to guard guys if he had to switch out on them and get caught on that island and it's a three, a wing guy that's six eight that can handle the ball and go to work. What could he do with a Jason Tatum if he has to switch to him or Jalen Brown? Is he going to be able to keep them in front of them? Or even if they run a pick and roll and not be in a drop coverage, is he going to be able to keep them in front until the defender gets back? That remains to be seen. But I think he can impact the game rebounding and and, uh, blocking shots, being a rim protector, more so a a help rim protector, more so than uh, on the ball rim protector. All right, that's our man, Eddie House. We appreciate you, bro. Right on, man. You guys take care.